For about 60 years, Second Fleet was the protector of the Atlantic following World War II. And then in about 2011, we decided that the global environment had changed to the point where we really didn't need a concentrated fleet effort. Our military focus over the last decade has been primarily on counterinsurgent, violent extremism, and expeditionary warfare. Now we recognize the need to evolve and change to great power competition. The global security environment has changed, and as such, it has created this need for us to command and control forces in the Atlantic and in the Arctic, and that's where Second Fleet comes in. We are not recreating the Second Fleet of the 80s or even 2011. This isn't your grandfather's Second Fleet. We're creating a fleet that is fit for its time, but fit for its purpose as well. It means that we need to evolve the way that we attack the problems, the way that we view the problems, the way that we're structured, and the way that we operate. What we're doing at Second Fleet is just the tip of the iceberg of the kinds of changes to be affected within the larger reserve force. We talk about requirements, and it's not active or reserve, it's a Navy requirement. So if the reserve force can deliver against that requirement better than the active duty can, then by all means, we're going to double down and create opportunities to fill those needs. Those who are willing to come to the Second Fleet Reserve Force as plank owners are really going to be shaping the future of an enduring reserve presence. We're not necessarily planning to operate one week in a month and two weeks a year for exercise support like a lot of other augmentation units. We will have a persistent reserve presence. So we'll be standing watch beside and integrated into the active duty watch bill. Some members will be reserved, some will be active duty, and no one will ever know the difference. We're 100 years into being a reserve force, and at this point we know that there are some things that we need to do differently. We are going to make sure that the value of every dollar dedicated to the reserve force provides maximum utility to make our Navy better.